Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to share with you some really cute little amigurumi patterns that I found. Uh, well, I've had some of them for a while. Some of them are new. But they are all from Olive at stringydingding.com and it's no secret that I love her. <laughs> um, I'm obsessed with her patterns. She makes the cutest patterns. And um, she's the one that had that book come out recently called Plenty of Fish in the Sea that we, a lot of us got and uh, made a ton of fishes out of. Anyways, I'm sidetracking. So, um... I got an idea to make these for Easter coming up because these all, let's see, there's seven of them. They're all no-sew patterns so that you don't have to sew any pieces together. The only thing you have to sew is your ends <laughs> into, um, you know, the begin the ends when you close it. <laughs> um, and they're all really quick. I made all of these today. Um, so I wanted to share them with you guys and let you see what they look like finished. And then I'll have them all linked below. They're all free patterns on her uh blog but you can also purchase the pdfs if you wish um they're dollar 99 each which is a great deal because they're written really well and they're super adorable and uh yeah so i'll leave the links below for you to check them out she also has a membership website that's really good it's six dollars a month and you get every new pattern on pdf for free when it comes out and also once a month you get a free code to get a past pattern for free uh, from her shop so it's really awesome and she also has video tutorials on her membership for uh, some of her patterns but also um, like techniques and things and she also has a forum on there so you can chat with other people who are members of her website so I'll leave that link below too if you're interested in checking it out um, I've been a member of it since she started it and I will probably stay a member of it forever <laughs> because I love getting her patterns for free when they come out and uh, I have most of her patterns now i'm pretty sure <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna show you guys so some of these are older ones and some of them are new um and some of these i've made before like this one here is her mouse and it's no so mouse all of them are no so so here is the one i made today i've made this before i made a few of these and again it's no so the ears are crocheted on there there's stitches i did use safety eyes but there's a little mouse i just used scrap yarn so i thought these would be cute for easter baskets uh, coming up and I'll probably like even this would fit in an Easter egg <laughs> but um I thought it'd be cute for my son and my nephew to get some little cute amigurumis and then there's a spider I made it with variegated this is a mandel ombre scrap and again it's no sew this one is made in two pieces but you crochet them together and the little legs are crocheted on and there's eyes I put my eyes on a little cricket but that's okay he's still cute I made a purple one and then there's the candy shaped one, which I mentioned recently. And here it is. Oh, it's blown out. It's also Mandela Ombre scrap. Um, it is again made in two pieces, but you crochet it together. And these parts are stitches, they're just crocheted on there. So that's candy. And then there's a pencil, I mean a crown. <laughs> the pattern, you could also make a pencil and then it crowns. So again, it's in the sew. You just, you start painting, you work your way down. And you just change colors and close it at the bottom. Put the little eyes and face on there. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But it's so cute. And of course, I made mine pink because I love pink. <laughs> but um, it's just so cute. And she also has a big crown pattern that I've made before. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a no sew. Yeah, it's no sew too because it's basically the same pattern, just bigger. <laughs> and uh, it's really cute too. And then these little animals. I love this one. It's so cute. It's a pig. <laughs> it's a cute little pig. He's got a curly tail and everything. It's blown out. Look how cute he is. I made all these today in one setting. And again, the legs, the tail, the ears are all stitches that you do while working the body. Little pig. And then here's another cat. I made one the other day that Jessie took. It's like, it's white and speckled. This one's like a green. I think this is Mandel Ombre as well. Scrap, but there's the little cat and the little ears. And it's got a long tail and feet. I always put my faces on crooked. That's on me. It, look, it looks like its head's tilted. <laughs> and then the last one was the new pattern that came out yesterday or today. I can't remember. But it's a dog. It's the same as the cat, but a dog. So it's got bigger ears. And she has in the pattern how to make it look like a lab or a pug or a German shepherd. Different different types of dogs. I just used a scrap ball and made it like a mutt. <laughs> but um, it's, got, it's got a slightly shorter tail than the cat, but it's longer than the pig's. <laughs> And it's so cute. So these, I thought these were just so adorable. Little, no so quick patterns that work up really fast. You make it any colors you want. And they'd be great for Easter, which is coming up. You know, it's in two months roughly. 
But um, if you got a lot of kids to make little trinkets for, now's the time to get doing that. So like those gift bags I made the other day, the eggs shaped ones, you could put some candy and then a little, little cat down in there or a cute little pig down in there. <laughs> I just thought these were so cute. So I wanted to whip them up today and uh, show, you, show them to you guys so that you could one, see how cute they are made up and two, you get to see that they can be made up quickly. Let's deck them all up here. Put the little mouse on top. And then I got the carrot, or the carrot, <laughs> my brain, I sorry, crown right here. <laughs> They're so cute. I just love them. I think my favorite is the pig, but also the crown. <laughs> but I just want to hop on here. All the links will be down below if you are interested in checking it out. And I'll also link her uh, membership thing if you want to check that out to see if you want to join it. It's definitely worth it, I think. I've been a membership the whole time and I love it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to hop off here and I'm going to hide these with Jesse's other Easter things that are hidden in here <laughs> and um I'll have to let's see there's seven of them I'm gonna have to make an extra one so I can give each boy a, a even amount of toys <laughs> and um I might make another little mouse a different color it's so cute but I'm gonna put them up so that I can surprise Jesse with them I've been working on them all day but he hasn't been paying any attention to it so I think we're good <laughs> but they all also take uh, just tiny amounts of yarn and tiny amounts of stuffing and then you can stitch on eyes if you don't want to use safety eyes. But I'll also link the Amazon ones that I purchased down below if you want to check it out. The safety eye packs. But yeah, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.